In many cases, we may want to embed content that we find uh, elsewhere on the web to include within our items, collections, or exhibits. It's possible to do this using an HTML embed code, or iframe. The content in this video is also explained in a written tutorial that you can find here or in the description below these videos. If you'd like to follow the text in this video, make sure you've turned on closed captioning. I have an example here, a YouTube playlist on the history of Durham that was published by the Museum of Durham History on YouTube several years ago. If I wanted to uh, embed one of these videos, all I would need to do on YouTube is go to the Share button underneath the Videos Play window, and where it says Share, rather than selecting this link, I would switch to Embed, and then I receive this long uh, line of code. This is an HTML uh, embed code, and notice I said iframe a moment ago. That's the name of the specific HTML tag, iframe, that is used to create these embeds. What this tag will do is it will enable us to tell Omeka to pull content from YouTube into the Omeka site so we can view it there, rather than simply clicking on a hyperlink and navigating away from our site to YouTube. So I will select this entire code, and I will copy it, and then I will return to my Omeka dashboard. Now, I could paste this into a specific item. If I wanted to do that, let's say I create a new item, and maybe in this case I am creating a collection of people uh, that are talking about the history of Durham. So maybe I'll type in the name of that person, and then to embed that media, I would use in this case the relation field. This is a great field that uh, is flexible enough in Dublin Core to be able to pull in related resources, and I view this as also including embedded content from other sources that we ourselves are not creating for this item or are not wanting to include as the item itself. This is especially important if we don't have access to specific files to upload as the item's file or image, but we do have access to these kinds of videos and want to be able to include it as part of the item. In order to add it to the relation field, I need to click Use HTML to make this text box uh, readable with HTML. Then, in the top right corner of the toolbar that will appear, I click Edit HTML Source, and I can paste in my iframe. Now, the pieces of an iframe that we need to pay attention to, apart from the tag, are the width and height, and this specifies the width and height of the box that will contain our media on the Omeka page. Then there's also the source, which is the hyperlink. And then there's information about providing a frame and whether or not we will allow uh, YouTube to play full screen while we are on our Mecca site. What I want to do here is make only one change, and that is to the width. By default, uh, the YouTube video width will be 560 pixels. This may or may not fit within the width of our Omeka item page. So I can change this to be 100% uh, or a smaller percent. And what this will do is it will allow our browser to adjust the size of the video window to the size of the browser window. So if someone is looking at our site on a mobile phone, they will see the entire video uh, window within their screen, as opposed to simply seeing it at the same size, 560 pixels wide, as they would on a larger screen. So then I will click Update and add item and notice before I do that that we have this yellow box that is a placeholder in our editing window for that embedded media. I'll click add item here and then I will click on the item itself to view that page and even just on this particular page now we have our embedded content. We can also view it on the public page 
to see our video. And notice that we can play it. And our users can also look at the larger playlist and choose between different uh, videos that are saved here on YouTube just within our Mecca site. If we wanted to do the same thing for an exhibit, we would go back into our dashboard and go into exhibits. And let's say I want to add it into our History of Durham Architecture exhibit. I will go to Edit. Maybe I will make a new page. In this case, I will title this And notice how I create the slug. Then, because I'm embedding HTML, all I need is a text block. So I will add this new content block. And again, go to that HTML, edit HTML source button, paste in my iframe. Once again, make sure that I have 100% selected my width uh, value to make this a responsive box, depending on the device and browser window size. Click Update and Save Changes. Then I can view my public page to see what this will look like. And I could include text above or below this video. It's also possible to include audio files, perhaps from SoundCloud or uh, the pop-up archive. Or you might include embeds such as interactive timelines or maps that you create in other tools outside of Omeka.